If you go and get the advanced Acroform tool set from formrouter.com, that's this toolbar right here sitting inside of Acrobat. This is a free tool that you can download and you can drop right on your machine. So to load up inside of Acrobat Professional 7 or 8 or any version of Acrobat 9, there are seven or eight very cool things you can do that Acrobat cannot do on its own. Let me demonstrate. The first thing is, on the toolbar, there's a button that allows you to create a new blank page. Bingo, we just created a new blank page without an underlying document. Two, we can add validation to a field. Here's a field where I've automatically injected a validation for an email address. If I don't type in an email address, bingo, it tells me that there's no email address. That's located inside of our field creation tool. And here are all the different validations that we have. Phone numbers, custom validations, email, IP addresses, currency, numeric, social security numbers, whole numbers, etc. Three. We can require a drop down box. Typically, when you put a drop down box in, it always has a value. We have a way to create a drop down box that has no value so that when you do a test submit, it'll automatically require that field. And as you can see, at least one field was required on this form as I hit a submit button. Four, this is a big one add a calendar picker to a form. Here is a calendar picker that's graphical in nature which allows you to select a month and a year and inject an accurate date. Five, you can add a file browse field with a browse button. This makes it so that if you've got a form set up to transmit to a server, you can browse for a file, select it, and then when you hit the submit button, it will actually transmit that file with the PDF data. Next, number six, we have a tool that will automatically inject a test submit button. This allows you to click the button and test to see what data is being transmitted out of your form. Basically, the test button submits the form to a server which returns back to you a list of all the fields that were transmitted out of the form and the names of the fields. This is a fantastic tool to have when you've got lots and lots of fields on your form and you want to see what's being output. And finally, we have the ability to add a green message to your PDF. There's a button up here right next to the button that injects the test submit and this button here injects a green message. And what this does is it injects it directly into the inner workings of the PDF such that when the PDF is opened, this will pop up. And then when it's closed, it won't open again. So the whole idea here is that you can inject the PDF with a green message to remind people not to print this PDF because it's bad for the environment. It also has a link that goes to a website called greenpdf.com where people can get a whole report on the effects to the environment of actually printing out documents in the office. So those are the core seven things that you can do with the advanced Acroform toolbar. So run out to formrouter.com, download it, it's free, and install it into your version of Acrobat to expand what you can do with forms and send people a green message.